Do you wake up tired? Do you feel like even if you get a good sleep, you feel groggy in the morning? And are you feeling like you're addicted to caffeine or need tons of cups of coffee to have energy throughout the day? If so, you are in luck. Here is how to get so much more energy without upping your caffeine. I'm Danny Hamilton, a holistic nutritionist and blood sugar specialist. Number one, see the sunrise with naked eyes. It doesn't feel like seeing the sunrise is gonna really do much to help support your energy levels because you might not feel it initially, but seeing the sunrise through naked eyes, actually just sky gazing east, you don't actually have to see the sun, it helps to build melatonin that we are going to use later that night so it helps us sleep better. It also helps us to gradually increase the cortisol level in our blood and this is going to help us wake up naturally. The presence of that blue light in the sunrise is also going to shut off our melatonin so we don't get that sleep inertia where we're feeling groggy all morning. Mm. Also, the gradual rise of cortisol that we get from the sun is so much better for our physiology than opening our phone and getting a bright light in our eyes or flipping on the overhead lights. It's much easier on our body and will promote more energy in the future because it's not demanding so much cortisol at one time. Number two, step on the earth and get in some grounding. During sunrise, when you're outside, you'll want to touch any part of your bare skin to the earth or anything growing from the earth. So this might mean you stand on grass, sand, dirt, rocks, stone, even cement. And you can also use your hands and just touch anything growing out of the ground. You could literally just pinch a blade of grass that's rooted in the ground and get the benefits. So what is actually happening when we ground? The reason why this gives you energy is best explained by a little bit of eighth grade science. We humans have and require a strong negative electrical charge in order to have optimal health. It just so happens that the surface of the earth is loaded with free electrons. The world is full of energy. You just have to find it, harness it, and put it to work for you. If you remember back to eighth grade science, electrons have a negative charge. When we make contact with the earth, we immediately begin pulling in these electrons into our body. These electrons not only give us energy, but they also are scientifically proven to reduce inflammation, to reduce pain, and to improve blood flow. Yes, please. Plus, the magnetism of the earth is strongest during sunrise and sunset. So if you combine these strategies of seeing sunrise and stepping on the earth, you're getting more bang for your buck and more energy. Energy. For best results, aim for at least 45 minutes throughout the day. You can break this up throughout the day if it's easier for you. Number three, hydrate with minerals. Hydration is not just about getting lots of water into our body. It's about consuming a lot of minerals and getting those absorbed into our bodies. Minerals conduct electricity and are like the spark plugs of our metabolism. Think about a battery. If the battery just had water in it, it would not conduct electricity. But if it has minerals in there, the battery fluid, the battery acid, it then will conduct electricity. We need this positive and negative charge. Even as little as a 2% drop in our body's hydration will start to make us feel tired and less energized. Starting your day with a nice big glass of mineral water with lots of good mineral salt or other electrolyte drops are going to be really supportive of optimal hydration and energy levels. I like to use a good salt like Redmond's Real Salt, you can use Celtic Sea Salt, and I also love to add things like Quinton Minerals or 40,000 Volts by Trace Minerals. I'll link all those below in the description. Number four, eat breakfast within an hour of sunrise. Skipping breakfast will unfortunately drive us to be running on cortisol all morning and throughout that early afternoon. At first, you might notice benefits from doing things like skipping breakfast, and perhaps this is many of you watching this video, but oftentimes, and I'm seeing this more and more, is that it starts to lead to cortisol dysregulation, high blood sugar levels, and also leptin and insulin resistance. This keeps us craving sugar and holding on to excess weight. Giving your body nourishment first thing in the morning with lots of animal protein, healthy fats, and fiber is the best way to get energy to start your day. Number five, have coffee after breakfast. 
By having the coffee by itself or before breakfast, this can often lead to a blood sugar spike and crash. It can also crash our energy levels. And over time, again, it can lead to this dysregulation in our cortisol levels. Our cortisol needs to be in this nice rhythm. And so it needs to gradually raise during the day and lower overnight. It actually is opposite of melatonin. So melatonin should be nice and low in the morning when we see that sunrise and then gradually get higher in the evening through the nighttime to help with all those repair processes. When we're jacking up cortisol all the time, it's staying elevated too late because we're maybe drinking coffee too late throughout the day or just are demanding our adrenals keep producing so much more cortisol than is necessary, we're going to find ourselves with issues with our energy regulation system. This might throw off our sleep, this might cause us to feel more tired during the day, or maybe we feel wired and tired at night and can't get to sleep. Bottom line is that I recommend nourishing your body with food before you put caffeine into your system. And make sure you stop having caffeine by at least 12 p.m. Number six, get outside during UVA light. At a certain time in the morning, a light wavelength called UVA is the predominant light, and this is the coolest thing that I have learned in like a year. UVA light tells our body when it hits our skin to start producing all sorts of amazing brain chemicals and hormones so that we can feel energized and motivated and have good concentration and drive. It also can help our metabolism because this light starts to increase dopamine, serotonin, norepinephrine, epinephrine, and thyroid hormones like T3 and T4. Isn't that incredible that the sun hitting our skin can just make us feel so good and help all these amazing things? You can find when UVA is strongest in the morning in your latitude by downloading the circadian or the circadian life app. Then you just insert your location and it'll tell you when this UVA window is in your latitude. So UVA is going to rise in the morning when the sun is about 10 to 30 degrees off the horizon. And then that UVA window stops once UVB starts being created. UVB, remember, is that light that is used to help us make vitamin D. So this walk in the morning is great great to condition your skin actually to receive that UVB light and is really helpful for making sure we're getting all these amazing wavelengths of light from the sun, which again are going to help our energy levels. Also as a bonus, light from the sun on your skin is also loaded with free electrons. So it's another way we can gain energy. Number seven, going for a walk. Going for a walk also helps us create more electrons through piezoelectricity. Walking increases blood flow and circulation throughout the body, and when we pair the walking with walking outside during this UVA window, again, we're getting so much more bang for our buck. Walking stimulates the release of endorphins and paired with these amazing brain chemicals we get from the sun during this UVA window, this is a recipe for more energy and way better moods. Walking is also scientifically shown to help improve sleep at night and when we sleep better, we're going to feel more energized in the morning. Try this morning routine and watch your morning energy levels start to skyrocket. And make sure you let me know how it goes in the comments below. If you wanna learn more about circadian and quantum strategies for better blood sugar, like all the things I taught in this video. If you wanna go deeper, ask me questions, and get personal coaching from me, the place to do it is in Blood Sugar Mastery, my signature program that I run several times a year. Make sure you get on the wait list, and I've linked that in the description below. I'd be so excited to coach you and help you achieve better blood sugar levels for more energy, better hormones, better sleep, and so much more.